Hello my chums, welcome back. Today we are comparing 358 Winchester and 7 Rem Mag doing ballistics with a twist. We're actually shooting some Samba deer shoulders. So you've probably all seen a ballistic video out there where they're using bloody uh, wet uh, phone books, um, you know, ballistics, gel, you know, all these other bloody mediums to try and show you what a bullet will do when it hits your deer. I've been collecting deer shoulders from the last uh, four deer that I've shot. We're gonna do a series on shooting them with different calibers and find out how they perform. Now, when I originally proposed this to my Patreon about, what about August last year? I wanted to do uh, different projectiles and the Patreons, like, so the same colors, so I want to do like seven rem mag, for instance, and do like four or five different projectiles just to show the difference of how they uh, perform. The Patreons said they didn't like that idea. They said they wanted to see different cartridges. So this is what we're going to do now. So for the first two shoulders, I went with my two personal uh, deer hunting rifles, one being my 358 Winchester custom rifle made by High Cow Firearms and Ordnance and the other being my 7 Rem Mag Ticket T3X. What we have is, so this is a Sam Behind that I uh, shot and butchered um, a while back. So not as big as a big staggy boy, but obviously bigger than a fallow. So I feel like this is kind of like a good middle ground to try and get some good information there. These shoulders were frozen and then defrosted for the video. To catch the bullets, I have a couple of rows of milk bottles. And uh, as you'll see as we progress to this video, I didn't really have enough milk bottles. So when I do this the next time, I'm gonna have to get a hell of a lot more. So when we shot these targets, these were at 100 meters. A lot of people do their ballistic testing at like 10 meters to make sure they hit the target. I think that's a pretty poo way of doing it. I feel like if you shoot it at the actual applicable hunting range, most of my shots are about the 100 meter mark. Most people don't go you know, above two, 300 meters, particularly in really dense forest. So 100 meters, I feel like, is a pretty good comparison as opposed to doing it at you know, 10, 15 meters. I just feel like that doesn't really give you an accurate result, unless you're shooting at that range, which you know most people aren't. We can see that the 358 Winchester hand loads of mine, which are going 25, 30 feet per second, at 100 meters have 2,957 joules of energy. When we compare that to our 7 Rem Mag, which is factory Hornady, 162 grain ELDX going 29.75 feet per second, we can see that we have 38.44 joules of energy. So we have 900 joules more energy out of the 7 Rem Mag. Now the point I'm gonna make in this video is it's not really the joules of energy that do all your damage. For the 358, we have a monolithic bullet, a copper monolithic, and then for the 7 Rem Mag, we have a cup and core bullet, it's an ELDX. So you'll see with a cup and core bullet why I usually steer clear of cup and core bullets. Now, a lot of people that I have heard of using ELDXs, not particularly in 7 Rem Mag, but in 300 Winchester Magnum, they have not have a, had a full pass through with ELDXs. With mine, I have, I've only shot one deer with ELDX, and that was a full pass through. However, that wasn't a fallow spiker, so not much there to do. Did hit the spine though, still continued all the way through. A mate of mine shot a Samba Stag with a seven rum, and he didn't even get a full pass through either. Very hard for him to track that deer because it bled into between the skin and the rib cage, so he didn't really have a blood trail either. Took him about three hours to find it, and it was about 50 meters from where he'd shot it, but it was so dense in there and no blood trail, it took him ages to find it. The first one we're gonna show you is going to be the 7 Rem Mag. Now this is a well-known and well-liked deer hunting cartridge. So we're gonna see how this one performs. 